The defense resting today in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial. Trump did not take the stand in his own defense, and his legal team only called two witnesses. Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand joining us now with all of today's details and what happens next. Jory? Mark, Donald Trump had said repeatedly he planned to testify, but when the time came today, his defense team rested its case. And now within a week, the jury will begin deciding whether a former president of the United States is guilty or innocent. This is all about Biden can't campaign, so he's trying to injure his opponent. Former President Donald Trump lashing out again today as the criminal hush money trial against him is nearly set to go to the jury. Today, the defense rested its case after its problematic witness, Robert Costello, finished his testimony. Costello, who yesterday nearly got kicked off the witness stand after trying to show up the judge, today was confronted with his own emails showing a pressure campaign against Michael Cohen, something Costello had denied. Trump emerged from the courtroom with a stack of positive press clippings his team prints for him each day. There's not one person, legal scholar, that think this is a merit. Now, I haven't reviewed everything. And he again railed against the judge that has found him in contempt 10 times in this case. The judge is so biased, so corrupt, he's so corrupt, and he's so conflicted. Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani's work with Costello was mentioned in court today, the same day Giuliani was being arraigned in Arizona for his part in the fake electors plot that aimed to overturn President Biden's win there in 2020. I to the American legal system. And Giuliani nearly got himself muted by the judge. It is a completely political case that comes very, very late. All right, sir, it, sir. It was brought, it was three Giuliani, years Giuliani, I don't want to mute you, but I need to move on. Um, give me just a moment. I, I, I understand what your position is regarding uh, release conditions. Quite frankly, mocking the justice system in Arizona, uh, given his latest Twitter posts and then his lie about communicating with our office, we decided it would be appropriate to ask for some kind of release conditions to ensure his appearance in Arizona. Giuliani pleaded not guilty and the judge ordered a $10,000 bond. It pales in comparison to the $148 million he owes to Georgia election workers for defaming them and their work in the 2020 election. Giuliani filed bankruptcy in December and now... Today, I'm thrilled to introduce you to something I'm incredibly proud of. The man once known as America's mayor is hawking his own brand of coffee. I even recommend drinking it black. Also today, more blowback for Trump's repost Monday of a video on Truth Social that envisioned what a second Trump term would look like. It included a headline mentioning a unified Reich hearkening back to Nazi Germany. President Biden weighing in today on X. A unified Reich? That's Hitler's language. That's not America's. He cares about holding on to power. I care about you. Donald Trump's campaign blamed that post on a staffer. His trial is done for the rest of the week. Monday is Memorial Day, so we expect to see closing arguments next Tuesday, one week from today, and the jury would then have the fate of a former president in its hands, something this country has never seen before. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.